In the most densely populated country on the African continent, with a current population of around 150 million people, we find Enugu State, with its population of around 5.5 million people. In the heart of Enugu State, we find its capital, Enugu City, where roughly 1 million people live and call Enugu home. Only five minutes from the old city of Enugu, in the amazing subtropical forests, a heart is beginning to beat. Enugu Lifestyle and Golf City A 21st century model city encompassing all aspects of a progressive city aimed at supplying an overall and encompassing lifestyle for its inhabitants and their guests. The new city is positioned close to the Enugu Port Harcourt Expressway and will obtain access directly from this freeway by means of an interchange. The city covers 1,097 hectares and has been designed to have an impressive entrance. A wide, impressive boulevard will act as the main traffic backbone through the city to all the various land usages and amenities. The land use plan has been structured to cater for residential, commercial, business, light industrial, heavy industrial, schooling, medical, sport and recreation. and a heliport and helipad for senior executives. All income groups have been considered in the broad residential structure plan. Homes catering for the full spectrum of people requiring homes, from young newlyweds right through to the professional and executive homes required by the captains of industry and government have been planned and catered for. The intention being to supply a product affordable to all sectors of the population, of such a standard that banks will be willing to assist borrowers with loans because of the low risk of lending against such quality residences in such a sought-after residential estate, giving most income groups an opportunity to enjoy the benefits and privileges of the new city. The Entry-Level Market Entry-level homes for this segment will be smaller in size, with basic finishes, but of a high construction standard. The entry-level homes are planned in three forms, the first being a freestanding home known as the Econo Home, offering a larger yard and the options to extend the home at a later stage. The Econo Home is available in a variety of plans and elevations, and will be built in Zone E areas aimed at the slightly larger family in the lower income groups and falls into the Res 1 category. The second option in the entry-level market is the townhouse. Townhouses offer a compact living unit built in complexes where each complex has a specific architectural feel and shares a similar external appearance. Townhouses can be defined as being either a single-storey unit, called a simplex townhouse, or a double-storey unit, called a duplex townhouse. Whether simplex or duplex, the townhouse is designed to have an exclusive carport or garage and its own private small garden. The third option in the entry-level segment is the apartment, also known as a condominium, or condo, or stack unit. The apartment option has two separate units, one above the other. However, only ground floor units have gardens. Communal play areas are provided in these complexes. Townhouses and apartments will be constructed in C3 zoned areas and fall under the Res 3 category. Stepping up a level, we move to the middle income groups where the average home size will be between 100 and 200 square meters. This middle income market segment is catered for in two distinct segments. 
the classic home range of plans for those buyers desirous of a home on its own stand, where they can extend at a later stage if and when the need should arise. The classic home range will be developed on land zoned as D, on stand sizes of around 750 square meters, and form part of the Res 1 category. The second option for the middle home market is the cluster home. Cluster homes are homes built within specific prescribed architectural themes and building guidelines, enabling the positioning of themed villages within the estate. For those demanding slightly more upmarket homes with smaller gardens, cluster homes present a very desirable option for the young executive family. And complexes can be either single storey or double storey, or both. The middle income target market are those families a little more mature, with more children, better jobs, and a slightly more status conscious. The executive housing market has no boundaries and is determined mainly by what the family can afford and what they are prepared to spend on housing. This sector's homes will be individually designed by a panel of selected architects to the client's individual choices and preferences. Architectural styles and guidelines will however be set down in themed nodes to create for instance a Cape Cod node where homes fall into a certain style but do not look identical to one another. These homes fall into the Res 1 zoning. However, the price of land and the size of home erected will be dependent on the size and position of the stand. Category B stands will be non-golf course frontage and non-greenbelt frontage stands. Category A stands will be stands with either frontage onto the golf course or onto a greenbelt. The town planning of Enugu Lifestyle and Golf City has provided for a private exclusive estate known as Presidential Park Estate. An area will be set aside in the city for this exclusive super secure zone, making it a security estate within a security estate. Presidential Park Estate will become home to senior government officials, business executives, and offer a super secure and private facility for these residents to mingle in the exclusive clubhouse, entertain their guests, and have a game of golf on the exclusive private nine-hole golf course. Land sizes will vary in size between 1,800 and 3,000 square meters, with home sizes estimated between 500 and 1,200 square meters. Enugu Lifestyle and Golf City will be defined by its entrance and guardhouse, where state-of-the-art technology will keep control of all people entering and exiting the estate, as well as setting the tone of a 21st century quality city development. Possibly the most important single attribute of a successful property development in today's times is security. It is our intention to make Enugu Lifestyle and Golf City the most technologically advanced, secure and safest city in the world. With manned access control, patrolling guards and secure perimeter fencing. An 18-hole golf course designed by one of the world's foremost golf course design architects will be a central defining feature of Enugu Lifestyle and Golf City. This course will be second to none in Africa and will be a major drawcard for lovers of the game, corporations and families wanting a weekend away or holiday destination. The driving range adjoining the 18-hole golf course will be available all week for residents of the new city. Large swimming pools, squash and tennis courts, beach volleyball and water sports will add to the daily enjoyment menu. The clubhouse, with its magnificent views of the golf course and lake, will cater for all the various sport disciplines offered in the new city, and will have a number of reception areas, lounges, 
dining areas and bars, for meetings and socializing, and will undoubtedly become the hub of the new city. A five-star internationally managed hotel will be seamlessly joined to the clubhouse to share kitchen and back office facilities. The hotel, which will be phased to align with the rate of development and occupancy of the city, will be a combination of large-style guest chalets and a high-rise hotel tower building. The hotel will offer facilities including a conference center, meeting rooms, restaurants, spa and wellness center, and will offer visitors and residents their dream venues for casual nights out, company conferences, as well as their dream venue to get married and or celebrate those special occasions, making the city a sought-after destination for the businessman, holiday maker, and the diaspora communities from around the world. The primary focus on shopping in the estate will be to create formal shopping nodes from the neighborhood shopping center or strip mall, catering for the daily requirements of everyday grocery, liquor, stationery, food and fuel needs, through to the regional shopping mall, which would cover the less frequent requirements of hard goods, such as electronics, clothes, appliances, hardware, furniture and restaurants, to mention but a few. Informal trading on the streets or from residential properties will not be permitted under any circumstances. Land is being set aside for heavy industries such as factories, refineries, assembly lines, construction material manufacture and labor dependent industries. The industrial land is situated close to a railway station paving the way for easy transportation of raw materials to the city and manufactured goods from the city's industrial hub to the rest of Nigeria, the ports and the rest of the world. Light industry requiring mini factories and warehousing will form the buffer zone between heavy industry, the office parks and the residential business. An abundance of water treated by the city's own purification plants together with a firm commitment from the government to take on the challenge of uninterrupted supply of electricity coupled with a large willing labor force is set to make Enugu lifestyle and golf city a choice location for national and international industrialists. The estate will offer internationally accepted schooling on site from preschool through to secondary school education. A modern private hospital will fulfill all the medical needs and offer offices and consulting rooms to the medical profession. Efficient management and strict design and development standards will ensure that consistent superior quality is delivered as the city evolves. The maintenance of the exterior of all properties and gardens by the homeowners association will be funded by a monthly levy imposed on all property owners. On behalf of the Directors of Private Estates International West Africa, we thank His Excellency Barrister Sullivan Chimeir and his support team for their enthusiasm in the creation and implementation of this, Africa's largest single development to date.